Hey guys, it's me, Robin from Mars Island Crafts. How are you guys doing today? Today I thought I'd bring you a new untutorial. This is something I've been thinking about for a while. We're going to take these plastic grocery bags and we're going to fold them up into something smaller and more convenient to store them. You'll be able to take them. Let me show, show you. We're going to fold them up into these triangles. It'll make it easier so that you can put them in a diaper bag or your purse or in your car or taking it to the beach or something like that. So you have a, a smaller, easier, convenient way to take a small trash bag with you. And that's not gonna make, leave this big bunch of bags just floating around your house. Our grocery store does have a place where you can deposit these to recycle them, but I'm not sure if everyone does. Some people just store them inside a tissue box or one of those specially sewn sleeves for these types of bags. But I find if you're going to go camping or something, that these are just so much more convenient. So, what we're going to do, take one of your bags, real simple, just get it all nice and straightened out. Put your thumb down in here and your thumb up in the handle. Give it a little tug. Smooth it out. You can do this every week when you go shopping, or every day, or just let it... I tend to stuff all my other bags inside one of these bags, and then when I have a moment to just sit down, I go ahead and fold these up. You'll see, it doesn't take very long at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold the bag so that the strip at the end is the width of one of these handles. So whatever your handle width is, if you have a very, very narrow handle, Something small like that, you might want to fold it a little bit wider. So, just fold it in half, smooth some of the air out, take this section, fold it over, smooth the air out. Easy, easy. Then we're going to start at the end opposite the handle. The handle's the messy section, so it kind of moves around and it's hard to fold from there. It can be done though. And then you just take it. Put your finger in the corner, fold it up, so you're starting your triangle shape, and then just keep folding. Now when you get towards the end, we're going to be tucking the extra. See when you fold it, it makes this little pocket right here. So you have to decide if we fold it up one more time, we won't be able to tuck it into the pocket. So while it seems like a lot, we're going to be able to get this into the pocket. Just open it up a little, just tuck it in. Remember, they're squishable. So there you go, one triangle. Let's try that again. All right. Go a little bit slower this time, now that you've got the basic idea. Flatten out the handles. Fold it in half. Flatten it out to get out the air. Fold up this section so that they're all even and equalish. Start at the end opposite the handle. I have a ceiling fan on, so we're going to be dealing with this a lot. Fold up the corner so that you're starting a triangle. And if you're familiar with that old school game from back in the 80s, where you folded up a piece of notebook paper and you played at a desk football, I don't remember what it was called back then, but you hold the triangle on your point and you flick it with your finger and your friends make a field goal across the table and you try to get it through. That's basically the same thing we're doing. It's also the same way that they fold the American flag for, uh, for funerals or other ceremonies and such. So, just fold over our triangle and fold it up. You keep pressing out the air as you go if you'd like. It doesn't matter too much if it's going to be even with the side or if it's a little over. Just 
keep going up on the flat up on the diagonal you just kind of rocking it up it'll automatically go if you just fold it on whatever side you're on it'll be easy it just it wants to fold and then check to see if you'll be able to tuck the end you won't so go back to this section open your pocket and tuck it in you can push this down into the corner if you want I just kind of fold it in there give it a little press and off you go I right, got one more bag we'll do this one and speed it up nice and fast for you Voila. Now you have a bunch of bags. Go ahead and just stick them in your car or in your purse or in your backpack and you're all set. If you have any questions, just go ahead and post down below. If you like these types of tutorials, go ahead and subscribe and like. Subscribing is free. There's no charge for that. And YouTube will just let you know whenever I put up a new video. Have a great day. Bye.